Have you noticed sesame being added to food products that previously never contained sesame? This is a result of sesame becoming the ninth major food allergen in the US. This went into effect January 1st of this year, 2023. So this is actually both good and bad for people with a sesame allergy. Good, obviously, because now it has to be listed in the contain statement, the allergen statement on a food label, so that somebody with a sesame allergy will know if there is a sesame containing ingredient in the product. The negative for people with a sesame allergy is that some manufacturers are now adding sesame to products that previously did not contain sesame. And this has to do with potential cross-contamination. Now that this is considered a major food allergen and it has to be declared on the label, if a manufacturing facility uses sesame in other products, the products that don't contain sesame could potentially have some cross-contamination. Before this was declared an allergen, you didn't have to do an allergen clean in between a product containing sesame and a product not containing sesame. Now that it's considered an allergen, that would be necessary for you to to ensure that that allergen is not in the product anymore. That would require a special clean, also testing to make sure that the allergen is not on the line or in the equipment or is going to end up in the food that does not contain sesame. So some manufacturers have decided to add in sesame to products instead of doing an allergen clean. This way they can just declare sesame on the allergen label and they don't have to worry anymore about potential cross-contamination and doing allergy cleans and testing products and all those extra additional things that come with making sure there isn't an allergen in a product. I understand both sides of it. I understand the manufacturing side of it of it's way easier, way cheaper to just add some sesame into a product versus the time consuming cleaning step and testing. I also understand the consumer side. Now there are many foods that maybe you were able to enjoy that now contain sesame and you can't enjoy it anymore. Unfortunately, the negative side effect to declaring more things as major food allergens is that manufacturers might just decide to add this allergen into their product versus doing a time consuming and expensive clean and testing in between products. So although I think it would be a good thing to declare more rare allergens on the label, adding any allergen to the list of major food allergens would unfortunately cause some manufacturers to just add it into their products. And so people with those allergies would have fewer choices.